Uh, yeah, it's just a quick um, video here for you, Fran, um, just to show you what this auto posting does and how it can make your life a lot, lot easier when you're doing anything on Facebook. Okay, so I'll just use my own website as a demonstration. So to access it, this is in the back area of my website, create website for you. Um, obviously, you would log into Drivetrain and then go into the back area. You should have a username and all that there. Um, to put something on, you'd go to here, posts, which is where your news feed is. Click on that. Okay, I've put one in here already. This is a draft one, which I'll show you in a bit. But when it comes to creating a new one, you just go on add new. And then, yes. New story. Copy that. Don't use the extreme build, you just want it as a plain plain page. So you do that. Choose your different categories that you want it to go into, different tags. I can provide all this information to you if you decide that you want to do it this way. Then you would go in and do your search engine optimization side. and then you would bulk all this information out here go down put your focus keyword in follow all the SEO information until this is all in green or as close as you can get it this what you want these here to be in green um, so you'd go through to all of that and once you're ready when I've installed and attached all the apps and everything, basically here you would have a load of choices where it's Facebook to Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, all sorts of different things. And you'd click on the ones that you want to post onto, fill in this little bit of information here. Okay, so it's not as complicated as it looks tells you what each bit does, what tag does, and the information. So for me, when I want my one to post, you'll see in a moment, it's got an excerpt on it. Effect. Mine's got the full text, and it's got this. This gives you the option to link back to the URL, so it links back to your page from Facebook. But it, it's all here and tells you what it is that you want. It tells you different styles of posts that you can have there. And then you would do the same for Twitter, you do the same for Google+. Plus. Once this is all in, in place, it just sits there. Um, you click there, so it just auto, it's auto post it. And then when you're ready, you've written your article in, you click publish, boom, and that will post on your blog, and it will post across to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, Reddit, all the different players that are out there for social media and different places where you want to be sticking your news feed um, and that's it dead simple and that will just save you having to go on and recopy everything onto Facebook so now if I quickly go back I want to leave that one okay so let's see I'll just Okay, so this is one I wrote earlier, so it's not been published yet, it's just a draft. Okay, so that's my article. Um, as you can see, it's green SEO, green readability. Come down, these are the categories within my blog and news feed that I have. So it's an article, it's a blog post, and it's about local business. In here, different tags. You would just put whatever's relevant. Just just helps people searching it. Then put an image in here into the featured image slot, and carry on. Write your article. You can see these. I've just bulked them out a bit. More information in. All my bits and pieces are green. 
So if you want to look at readability, click on that one. So you have all that. Like I said, if you want to start using this, an incredibly powerful tool um, and great for pulling in punters to your business. I'll do you a proper video on optimization. Okay, then you just go down to the bottom. You check all your details. As you see, I have mine as the title will go out, the name of my website, the image. I'll then have the raw text, which if you look here, inserts the body text of the post as typed, which is what I want. Um, then it gives a URL back to my website. And then the hashtags as well. It adds all that into just, and this goes straight onto my Facebook page. Um, and then I have Twitter. Don't have as much information because you've only got 160 letters to play with. So I'm happy with all that. Click publish. Okay, so now if I go across to Facebook, There you go. So, new post has been published on Create Website for you. Then the link, and then it goes into my full blog. So you can open it up and read the full blog post. Goes down again. Can read the full post here and then it has the hashtags that would be a featured image obviously the image I'm using is a big long one so that's why it doesn't fit in there properly um, and basically all the map description if you have a look at the image should show it full length there we go it takes you straight through to where my blog post is yeah and that's uh, so that's it but as you can see that's done the same across all your different bits and pieces that you need so it will make life a lot lot easier If you have any questions, just give us a, a quick call.